Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions using only Petty Petter products. This is the look that I have come up with just using Petty Petter products and the majority of them I have not tried before as well. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look and what my thoughts are on Petty Petter products, then just keep watching. Okay, so I've done my skincare and I've got my sunscreen on at the moment. I'm actually going to start off with priming my skin. So I've got the Blur Pang. I have the Peach Pure and Banana shade. And I think I want to try the banana. So this is supposed to to tone up and natural cover effect. So it's gonna be quite brightening, I think, but we will see. I'm gonna start up with a really little amount. Well, that's good because it goes really far. And I'm just using my fingers to apply this. It does have quite a brightening effect, so you can already see that. And I've got my mirror, which is the Pretty Better Cushion. It is super easy to spread out. You need like very, very little of it. And it does give you a very nice brightening effect. It also smells like bananas, which is quite nice. So I'm not sure if that has done anything else aside from brightening. It's quite soft, but I don't think it's really changed the texture of my skin at all. So next I'm gonna try out the Petty Petter Pearly Night Cushion. This one is the lavender cushion in the shade 1 Ivory. Obviously it has the cutest packaging because it has the glitter that sort of like is suspended in water or liquid in there which is really cool. I'm using the Petty Petter Puff that comes with it which is quite nice. It's a little on the thinner side. The puff is really interesting. It smells like latex and it kind of makes squeaky noises when I use it, which is very different. But the cushion itself I think is quite nice. I think the shade is really pretty. This is ivory, which is the lightest. It's definitely sort of beige to yellow in colour and it's quite light. I do find it to be quite cakey though already. I don't know if that's the cushion or the cushion in combination with the powder. But it does look a little bit thicker than what I would normally have. But overall I think the colour looks quite nice, which I'm very pleased with. One of the annoying things about this cushion is that mine doesn't actually close properly. So you can see that there's a gap there. I can't actually get it to close, so I won't be able to travel with this or anything because it just doesn't, doesn't close. So the blushes that I have are the Petty Petter Velvet Cheek water colouring blushes, I think that's what they're called. I have six of them and I just dropped the really orange one and I'm not sad about that because I'm definitely not going to use it. Torn between these two colours, I think I'm going to go with the lighter one because I think it would be easier to apply. So it's quite a soft texture and I'm going to try applying it with my fingers first. I don't know if you can see that but it is really pretty. However, I can see the foundation underneath moving around. So it's not particularly blending that well on top of it. It's not great. You can see it a little bit on camera now. This is a really, really pretty color. It's kind of like a pinky peach. Very natural and very, very cute. So that shade name is number four, Spring Blooming. So that's it there. All right, and now to set my face, I have the Oil Capture Pack by Penny Petter, of course. It's a small pressed powder. It, look, it actually looks a lot like the Innisfree No Sebum powder in that sort of like minty green compact, but there's no pattern on the powder at all. So I'm gonna use a Real Techniques brush. This is the setting brush, and I use this underneath and on top of my eyes. I have quite long eyelashes, so I find that if I don't really set around the eye area, um, my mascara smudges quite quickly, and obviously we don't want that. This has no scent at all, so far applies like the majority of setting powders. I actually prefer a loose setting powder over a pressed setting powder, even for travel because I can still put in the little puffs on top to block the holes. I just don't really like rubbing my brush into the powder after it's been on my face. I find it for me to be just a little bit unhygienic. I do get um, acne, so keeping everything as hygienic as possible is obviously quite ideal. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Zoeva Luxe Cheek Finish Brush um, because I can and they're new. You know, you just get new stuff and you really, really want to use them, even though it's not even the right shape or the right actual product to be using. So I'm focusing the powder along the T-zone. 
because that's where the most of my oil production comes. And then I'm going to be taking any remaining powder and just lightly brushing over the rest of my face. So that mattified my skin quite nicely. There's still a little bit of shine and dewiness, but it's not overwhelmingly bright like it was before. For brows, there wasn't actually that much choice with Peter Peter. I reviewed one of the Holy Deep Ink Brow things previous in December. So for this one, I decided to try out the Speedy Brow Cara. I do love a brow mascara. And I have the shade number four, I think. Don't think that it's going to work out well, but let's give it a go anyway. So my eyebrows are pretty much black. So I usually use brow mascaras and brow products that are very, very dark and very, very cool toned as well. Which this is neither. And I had that same issue when I tried out the other Peri Peri product because the darkest color was way too light. And I think the same is happening with this one because, the, yeah, my brows do not look like the right color anymore. Mm, I don't know about that. So that is the color of the Brow Cara. Um, from memory, I would have picked the darkest one. That is still like a nice medium brown. Definitely better for blondes or lighter hair, I would say. I mean, like that is my bleached hair at the moment and it's around about the same color as that, but it definitely doesn't match the rest of my hair, which is problematic. While we're up close, I'm also gonna do my mascara. I don't have any eyeshadow because Testa Korea messed up my order and I don't have any eyeliners because I couldn't find any eyeliner for Pitty Petta. So I'm gonna be using the Ink Color Cara Volume Setting in the shade Deep Blue Jeans. I think that's what it's called, it's number three. So the wand is definitely what I like. It is slightly curved and it is quite fluffy. That looks really pretty on my upper lashes. I'm gonna try doing my lower lashes as well. I'm actually quite impressed with this one. I don't think that you can really see the color as such, but I think that it's a really nice mascara. It did give my lashes a little bit of curl as well because I didn't curl them beforehand. Um, and there's a little more volume it's nothing major, but they are nice. Oh, I forgot that I also have the Pearly Night Ink Highlighters as well. So I think I want to try out the lighter colour. Really should have done this before I set my face, but I totally forgot about it. So I'm going to put a couple of dabs just on the top of my cheekbones here. And blend it out with my finger. That's very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it or if it's too subtle. I might actually put some, because I don't have any other eye makeup, on the tops of my eyelids and see if that works as well. It's like a little bit of, a little bit of something. The cushion is creasing in my eyelids so badly. It is so gross. I think you can see a little bit of shine. It's very, very subtle though. There isn't really that much colour to it. It just almost looks like... Glitter or shimmer, basically. And then the last thing that I have are lipsticks. So for these ones, I got the whole collection of the Cloud Ink Velvet Lip Tints. And I only got these this morning, so I haven't actually had a look at them. But just looking at the packaging, I think that either Pure Apricot Coral or Pretty Fuchsia is what I'm going to go for. So the coral one actually looks a lot darker than the packaging would imply. So I think I'm going to try out the fuchsia. Yeah, that one looks a little bit more true to colour. They have a slightly different doe foot applicator than the normal velvet ones. Oh, they're very, very pigmented. Alright, I have a really uneven cupid's bow, but that is what the colour looks like. It's really, really pretty and... It's quite a nice formula so far. I'd be interested to see how long it wears for though. So this is my full face of Petty Peter makeup. It's a little bit more on the boring side because there weren't actually that many products from Peri Peri that I could buy. I thought that they had more because they have so many lip products. Um, but especially for things like mascara, 
brow products, eyeshadows, eyeliners. They didn't have the biggest selection. And with even with the cheeks as well, I could only find the highlighters from the Pearly Night collection as well as the blushes that I've chosen for this video. There really wasn't that much choice in anything else aside from lipsticks. There were a couple of different BB creams and things like that though. Um, so there was a little bit more choice in the foundations. And I know I've already tried one of the foundations before. But I'll zoom you guys in for a close look. So this is what the makeup looks like. I quite enjoy the base. I don't think you guys can see the blusher at the moment, but I'll put you into natural lighting for another checkup to show you that. I think that the brows, the product itself is good, but the color is terrible. I think that this looks awful for me. The eyes, I do like the mascara. It's not amazing. It's not super lengthening or super volumizing, but I'm interested to see how it does throughout the day. I can kind of tell that it's a navy color, but not really. And the lipstick I think is really nice as well. Again, I'm interested to see how it wears throughout the day. I'm going to be recording a couple of more videos after this, so I will update you guys afterwards. So this is what my makeup looks like in more natural lighting. Unfortunately, the carport outside is really reflective, so that's why I have some weird shadowing. But I wanted to show you guys what everything looks like up close, so here we go. There is a little bit of cakiness around the highlight for some reason. I don't know why. My brows are... Definitely the wrong color. The mascara looks quite nice. Ended up putting a bit of a darker powder through my crease and my nose contour as well, which is not pita pita. And so far the lips are holding up pretty well. Definitely not transfer proof, so even after drinking and talking for an hour and a half, it's still moist, but I'm kind of not unpleased about that. So I will check back with you guys in about another hour and a half and then I need to go to work until nine o'clock at night so this is going to be a 10 hour wear test <laughs> so I'll see you guys a little bit later on so this is what my makeup looks like after 10 hours I'm not actually displeased by it at all I think that it actually looks pretty good to be honest so I think that the cushion is a little bit on the oily side especially around my nose I think like the nose tip is a little bit a little bit oily but in general it hasn't broken up too badly at all. The blusher is still faintly there, it was never a very dark blusher to start with. Still hating the colour of the eyebrows but it does do a really nice job of sort of holding them in place and filling them up, making them look quite full. The mascara as well still looks really good, my eyelashes are still as curled as they were to start with and it hasn't smudged at all which I am quite surprised by. And finally, of course, the lips. I reapplied this once. It did come up when I was eating, which is to be expected, but in general, it feels pretty good. It's definitely not um, a dried down product, so it's good if you have drier lips. But yep, I think for 10 hours, I am pretty pleased with how this makeup has turned out. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you have a friend that you would like me to do a full face of, then let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.